this next part really is for those who have faith for only they would truly know what this means. This is the complete list of archangels, including those fallen. This is not all the angels, just the high archangels, Ariel, Azrael, Barachil, Kamel, Cassiel, Daniel, Emiel, Gabriel, Gadriel, Hadroniel, Haniel, Hasidiel, Jegudiel, Jehol, Jeramiel, Jephiel, Kerubiel, Kashiel, Liliel, Michael, Muriel, Nuriel, Oriphael, Rigel, Raphael, Raziel, Remiel, Sachiel, Saral, Salafiel, Simiel, Earl, Zadkiel, Zafkiel, and Zerachiel. In addition, although some may look female, and some may look male, they are actually believed to be genderless, unable to produce offspring unless they relinquish their immortal state, they fall, or are cast out. In such a case, they are involuntarily assigned, the gender that they most resemble, this is permanent, and cannot be reversed by even the most powerful, ancient and arcane magic. The trinity are the highest possible principal aspects of sin, virtue and human emotion. The Son, Jesus, was the highest state of human emotion incarnated into a physical form, his life emulated that. The Father is the highest state of virtue through his living, intangible will that is the Holy Spirit that is brought to man through the angels who are the seven virtues. Lucifer is the Omega, the highest possible state of sin incarnated at the end of days to walk the earth to fulfill his destiny as the light bearer and his left hand in creation. Together these three aspects encompass the eternal continuity of existence and from this merger, the Creator came, forth from. Now I shall explain why I am having to go over the historical texts to piece together the aspects of what occurred in the early time of Earth's formation. It has to do with the reason as to why I was chosen to be the light bearer. The injury that originally caused my coma came from a car accident I had when I was young. I was a passenger in an accident at 40 miles per hour and had no seat belt on. Flying up from the back of the car and smashing head first into the windshield left a scar on my forehead and whiplash damage. Years later that was injured further by the police use of aggressive force upon my arrest. My charge was for pouring a cup of water onto a cop slap in order to get myself off the streets for the winter. When they handcuffed me they yanked my arm back too far causing further injury to the damaged muscles from the whiplash, which became infected to about the size of a golf ball. Since I was put in solitary confinement there was no one to see what was happening. The blockage in my neck led to the build-up of pressure that caused my subarachnoid hemorrhage to occur as I had the worst headache of my life and fell into a coma for three days. When I awoke, from an injury I never should have survived, again, and regained my bearings I was told that I had to concentrate my muscles in my brain a certain way and this would erase any short term memories. Doing this caused me to completely forget the details of what occurred and left me with the fragmented memories I had given here. This also why in the twenty years since, I have not emerged or taken up a role that would have exalted me on some throne as they did with my son and is why I am having to piece together the history by breaking the seals of God as I have been here on YouTube in order to achieve this purpose of saving humanity from the chaos that looms over us today by remembering what happened that was lost to save creation from being exploited. As I uncover sections of history there, memories of what I was present for during certain points become less hazy which leads me to this next part one remembered. When Jesus died the tapestry in Rome that pointed towards Israel was ripped and the palace stone floor cracked at the moment he drew his last breath. For anyone who has any knowledge about the subjects Jesus really spoke of would know about the light within him that longed to return from where it came. That light within him was me wanting to return home to my body as I began to realize I was still alive and waking up from my coma hauling as so fast I ripped Caesar's Antichrist tapestry and cracked the palace floor leading up to it as I went. You think that was astounding try and knock me off if you think you have the nerve to end one of the few possible hopes to humanity's survival, to which each of you's Xi Jinping, Vladimir Putin and Mr. Macron as well as Mr. Soros the one pulling all three of their strings, 
all have helped bring about so you probably wouldn't I'll keep this brief as this is the fifth time I've tried to make a video on this. So on to the damn topic. By the way here is a binaural example of what I'm going to list here. <laughs> You see I have that musical gift of being able to play by ear meaning I can pick up any instrument and be able to get to play a tune within minutes, that includes using a binaural app to emulate the frequencies of the sound, waves being used. The long range acoustic device, RAD, produces a 30 degree cone of audible sound in frequencies within the human hearing spectrum, 20 Hz to 20 kHz. Anlrad was used by the crew of the cruise ship Seaborne Spirit in 2005 to deter pirates who chased and attacked the ship. More commonly this device and others of similar design have been used to disperse protesters, and rioters in crowd control efforts. A similar system is called a magnetic acoustic device. The mosquito sonic devices have been used in the United Kingdom to deter teenagers from lingering around shops in target areas. The device works by emitting an ultra-high frequency blast, around 19 to 20 kHz, that teenagers or people under approximately 20 are susceptible to and find uncomfortable. Age-related hearing loss apparently prevents the ultra-high pitch sound from causing a nuisance to those in their late 20s and above, though this is wholly dependent on a young person's past exposure to high sound pressure levels. In 2020 and 2021, Greek authorities used long-range sound cannons to deter migrants on the Turkish border. Until recently, we've known only that mysterious directed, energy attacks began in 2016 in Havana and affected U.S. personnel assigned to Cuba and China. But reporting last week raised concerns that our government knows more than it has let on about how long these radio frequency attacks have been occurring, how many Americans have been affected, and in how many places. According to a New York Times report, suspected attacks occurred as recently as this month and some have resulted in debilitating injuries. In a report released in December, the National Academy of Sciences said a microwave weapon probably caused the injuries. Some officials believe microwave or directed energy device is the most likely cause. Perhaps most alarming is the revelation that at least two episodes involving White House staff members, one in 2020 that affected a National Security Council official near the ellipse south of the White House and another in 2019 involving a woman walking her dog in Northern Virginia. The news brings the specter of foreign adversary elections to within yards of the White House. We've also now learned that more personnel than previously disclosed have reported symptoms from attacks. As the Times reported, the government initially asserted that 60 U.S. employees and their dependents were among those attacked. But now, thanks to journalistic efforts, we know that as many as 130 Americans, including the two-year-old child of a military officer assigned abroad, have experienced symptoms. Now as I has said I had traced the source of this, but you people seem to be having a hard time grasping the how of it all. So instead I shall give you what you are searching for and that is proof you can follow yourselves. The route in which I traced this signal was embedded in your global communications network array but once the signal reached your satellite networks in space it used them like a filter to separate the signal from your communications feed and the signal dropped to a low frequency decibel before being transmitted into deep space. This low frequency was so low I don't think it was even radio wave something lower, barely even able to detect. 